Hi again. Now in this video I want to show you how to use a program to program Quodo. Now Quodo has its own special program which you can download, download from the Roboblox support page. It's quite a simple program really because uh, it's made for three to six year olds and it's easy to follow. I'm going to use the program to do what we did yesterday with the free mode to see if we get the same effect. So I'm going to show you the program now, which is, uh, as you can see, it's got very few basic steps. But let's look at that program now. Okay, so this is the obstacle course we had before. We used the uh, free mode for programming. Uh, we had to start, go forward till you came to the first object, turn left to second object, turn right uh, and turn left, go forward two goals and then go down under the bridge to finish. So we're going to use this map to produce a program using a quick code. It's not difficult and I'm sure your kids will enjoy doing it. So let's have a go at looking at this quick code. So here's the uh, program for code Hill. There's not much to it really, it's a uh, go forward, go back, turn left, turn right, and with some lights and things like that. A bit of noise there. Uh, only noise you've got is a train noise, I think. We're going to go forward first of all, so we to click on that. We've got to go forward one. Get the first obstacle, we've got to turn left. We've got to go uh, not 45 degrees, but a right angle, so we've got to turn that to 90. And then we're going to go forward again. Now we're going to turn right. Again, a right angle. We're going to go forward. Now we're going to turn left. Next obstacle. Go forward again, but this time we're going to go forward two. So we'll change that to a two and turn left towards the bridge. Again, 90 degrees. Now we're going to go forward two spaces. Two. This will come to the end. So, so that's the program for uh, Quoto. What we're going to do now is download it by pressing this button here. Before you can do that, you've got to connect Quoto to your laptop. So we'll do that first of all. Okay, so I've connected Quoto to the uh, laptop and I'm going to download the program now. The file has been successfully saved, so we confirm that. Now we can disconnect Quodo. Program to do the operation <coughs> we want to do. So the next thing to do is to see if it works. So I'll put it on the map and put the objects out and see if this program actually works. I'm sure it does. I've tried it before, so here we go. So uh, this is the setup we had yesterday. Uh, Quodo is ready to go, so this is what happens then. Well, there we are. See, you manage most of the objects uh, slightly out of way. Should brought this further that way. But uh, I noticed that it doesn't always turn exactly right. Maybe it's the map itself 
or maybe it's the uh, the uh, bot. But I know there is a, a fix for that if it's wrong. But at the moment it may not be that, it might just be the map surface is doing it. So that's uh, using the uh, program to program Quodo to do the same thing we did with the uh, free mode yesterday. Now one thing I found out after I'd done this was that if I try to use normal card programming it doesn't recognise the start and if you press the start button So, what he's doing is following the original program, and that would have been for a minute, but I rang up the uh, Quodo helpline, and they told me if I press the, uh, if I press the button at the top here for three or four seconds, then the program should have gone. Let's try that, shall we? That's okay, you see. So if you got that problem, just press the button at the top for a, a few seconds and it will clear the program. Well, there we are. That's programming Quodo with the actual program. So there's the three methods. First of all, you've got the cards, then the free mode, and then the programming. And you probably see the programming is, is fairly simple, really. There are very few steps. Not like the other program, like Scratch has got a lot more steps, but this was quite simple. I think most children will be able to use it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the problem was with the going off the track. Maybe it was just the map, or maybe the wheels need a, uh, sorting out a bit, I don't know. But you did notice that you do need to get rid of the program before going on to the cards again. And you do that by pressing the top button a few seconds, and you see the program disappears. So my next and last video will be using Quobo to do some arithmetic. So I'll see you then. Bye.